In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write a literature review super fast using this AI tool that is called Elicit. So first, we just need to go to Elicit. You can find the link in the description box. You can just sign in because I'm already in. I need to go here and I will just click sign in. And then this will lead me to this box. I can create a new account or I can just log in using my uh, Gmail. So I can just link my personal Gmail account. And here we go. So this tool is free. Uh, so we can use some uh, features for free, but there are some other uh, features that are not free. So anyways, this just to search for any research question or research keywords or research hypothesis and then the studies will start appearing so here we search age and anxiety so i could just start searching so here you could see research on age and anxiety has yielded mixed results etc and here we have different studies being cited and here you could see the studies all of them are real studies with columns we could add a columns etc uh, according to whatever aspect you want to investigate here you could sort based on most recent list cited most cited etc so we sort this way we could just filter based on the publication uh, a year let's say over the last uh, five years or so uh, so we just click apply we could search based on the journal quality the study type the inclusion and exclusion criteria and apply etc so we can just customize the search especially for a narrative and systematic literature reviews you could see here these are just recent studies i could simply copy these studies and take the citations and references but i cannot export this as csv or any file because i need to upgrade to the uh, pro plan so if we just have these plans here you could see our uh, we are on the basic we could go to the plus plan if we upgrade to the plus plan so here uh here is the uh plus plan uh we can just add a promo code to make this discounted so if we just uh, enter this promo code pin and apply so this will give us 10 percent discount to create an account on illicit first we need to go to sign in or sign up so if we go to sign in it will prompt us to uh, sign up or just log in using a gmail or google account or github account suppose that we need to create a new account we can just go to sign up and then here i will type the email so it's redev2023 here i will need to uh, put a password and then here i put the the full name i can change it later and then click sign up so here it will just prompt me to confirm my address so i will receive an email so i need to confirm it once i go to my gmail account i will find this email so i will just click verify email it will prompt me to verify email address i will just click continue and then email verification successful click continue and here i have the login page so simply i can just go back to the login and get access again so in the login i will simply choose the email i already in register it click sign in and here i am i have just made the payment so i upgraded my uh plan so here if i just put age and anxiety and type search i will have some of top eight papers not only uh four papers you could see top eight papers and more than this i can i could just export this as ris for zotero mendeley or endnote 
CSV for Excel spreadsheets and BIB for Latex and Zotero. So if I just export this as RIS, I could also create what we call a bibliography uh, and reference list. So once I export this, I will just go to the export. And if I have Zotero already downloaded, so I will just double click. And it will directly open on the Zotero. So I will just click import into new collection. And here they are. So simply I could just select all of the uh, documents and I will right click and then go to create bibliography from items. And I can choose the uh, citation style that I need. We have American Psychological Association, etc. So I will just choose APA 7th edition, this one. And I choose here bibliography. And here I will choose copy to clipboard and then click OK. And once I go here, for example, references, I will just paste. And you see that the references come uh, organized with uh, hand in indentation and in alphabetic order. Of course, I could do some post or editing. But what is important is that all of these references and citations are real. I could also go for what we call parenthetical citations. So simply I will just go back to Zotero. And by the way, Zotero is a free uh, software for reference management and citation management along with Mendeley. So I will just go to export or rather create bibliography from items and choose uh, citations and click OK and click then OK. So here I will have those citations here in parenthetical uh, format. I could just go to uh, Zotero and I will copy this or rather to Elicit. This is Elicit. Copy this, paste it. But of course I need to do a lot of post editing. So I'll just pop paste it like this. But I need to do post editing to double check everything and make sure of the references and citations. I could just also change the years into more recent uh, studies and references. But what is good is that it, it helps you a lot when it comes to narrative literature review, scopy literature review, or any type of review that you are doing. So it will just make the work uh, more productive rather than you keep opening a lot of tabs, etc. So this will just make the process easier and fast and accurate. Uh, compared to ChatGPT that just provides fake references, so it is not trustworthy. Uh, whereas this one is is just the one that is providing real references. Although I have some remarks with regard to the citation style and the reference list, but still it could be post edited and it is really great to start with. So this is in brief how to use uh, uh, Elicit. Uh, with the free plan and the pro plan, if you are using the pro plan, you could get discount using the coupon code in the description box or the comment section, which is, by the way, an affiliate link. Uh, but this website, I have just tried it personally and I currently use it. So I think it's a good one so far compared to the other websites like uh, SciSpace or other websites. Uh, especially when you are using the APA style. Maybe uh, site space can also be good, but it's good when you are using the uh, other styles when uh, the references are numbers instead of, let's say, uh, parentheses like this. So if you are using numbers, so site space is good for you. I could also share with you the uh, video on site space and how to get access to site space. So this is in brief how we can go about uh, doing the literature review. By the way, here we could add columns, main findings, etc. methodology, and you could see the columns here. You could double click and you could see each study and you could see the number of citations. You could sort them based on relevance, most cited, least cited, uh, most recent. Okay, we could also cite them based on some other filters like the publication year, the journal quality, the type of study, review, meta-analysis, systematic review, etc. The uh, keywords, in case we have inclusion and exclusion criteria, and apply. Then we can export them. So once you apply, you see that this will change a little bit. 
so it will just start containing the most recent uh, citations and references so you could see 2017 2016 2012 so you could just uh, uh, of course control the year of publication as well so this is good in terms of a narrative literature review and systematic literature review uh, in brief this is in brief how you can use um, elicit for a fast literature review and fast in-text citations and reference list in APA style and all other styles and this elicit can be better combined with Zotero which is another free uh, tool that you can use and that you can download to Mac or Windows and you can simply use for uh, getting the bibliography okay so if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below see you soon and bye for now